Good morning on this Thursday morning during this 10 days of Thy Kingdom Come. Before we come to the phrase in the Lord's Prayer we're going to look at, unusually this YouTube channel is going to take a moment to think about the big news story of this week. You will have seen uh, the story that uh, the chief advisor to the government had been accused of breaking the lockdown rules and uh, on Monday he made his defence. But there was one question which wasn't put to him. And this is the question. If you look carefully at uh, his account he gave in the Downing Street Garden, there's something very interesting. It makes me wonder whether way back in Holy Week, in Easter Week, whether he had indeed been watching St. Mark's Kennington YouTube channel. Take a look at this. So this is me uh, on Tuesday, I think it was, of Holy Week and Wednesday, broadcasting uh, in a white shirt in the garden with a nice green backdrop. And here is Mr. Cummings uh, wearing a white long sleeve shirt with a garden backdrop. So we put to him the big question. Mr. Cummings, in your press conference, did you consciously model yourself on the vicar and his garden? And here's his reply. I honestly believed it was the right thing to do and within the guidelines. Good. So that's uh, cleared that up. Uh, let's go to uh, the phrase we're thinking about today in the Lord's Prayer. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Or in the old version, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Forgiveness. It's not something which comes to us naturally, uh, but we are grateful when we are forgiven, when somebody has overlooked our mistakes, our errors, the things which, which we wish we hadn't done. Going back to that news story, a lot of people have suggested maybe we should just move on, forgive the man, he made a mistake. Um, but surprisingly, a lot of church leaders, a lot of bishops actually have weighed in saying, no, this man should be disciplined, he should lose his job. And a number of people have been surprised. Bishops, church leaders, refusing to give forgiveness. Uh, didn't Jesus say, let him who is without sin throw the first stone? I think it's, uh, I think this is the issue. Um, that it's not a matter of withholding forgiveness, uh, but it's very difficult to forgive somebody who is not contrite, who is not sorry. Uh, being sorry, being repentant, acknowledging the mistake is the key to receiving forgiveness. To be forgiven, the first requisite, the first thing necessary is a readiness to face truth and show humility. And in this particular instance, uh, there are many who think that Mr. Cummings hasn't shown either of those things and therefore isn't able to be forgiven because he hasn't actually acknowledged his, his sin and asked for forgiveness. We need to look in the mirror at ourselves and think, uh, in what way is that true of me? In what way do I twist the truth, ignore the truth, skate round it, make excuses, refuse perhaps to show humility and to acknowledge that I was in the wrong? Without facing up to truth and without a humble approach, we deny ourselves the opportunity to be forgiven. And the other thing which makes it very difficult for us to receive forgiveness is when we withhold forgiveness from those who have offended us, those who've trespassed on us. It's maybe one of the most striking uh, phrases of the Lord's Prayer. Forgive us as we also forgive. The Christian understanding of forgiveness, of course, is that God is ready to forgive us because the sin has not just been overlooked, let's just move on as though it didn't happen, but it's actually been dealt with. It's been punished. It's been put, though, on someone else. It's been put on Jesus on the cross. And our key to unlocking forgiveness or receiving forgiveness is to acknowledge that truth. I'm a sinner standing in need of God's judgment, but that judgment has been taken off me and put on Jesus. And he has taken my punishment and so it's been dealt with and therefore I say I'm sorry thank you thank you for the gift of forgiveness and that's what motivates me to look generously against those who've offended against us and be ready to forgive as they show repentance as they show humility and an acknowledgement of the truth let's continue to pray thy kingdom come God's kingdom we want your way to be done we want to live in a society of truth and humility we want to live in a society of generous forgiveness as people face up and acknowledge their mistakes. There are, of course, many verses in the Bible which have something to say about forgiveness, about God's forgiveness of us 
and our readiness to forgive others. Uh, Hosea chapter 14 verse 4 talks about God forgiving us in the sense of healing our waywardness, drawing us back into his ways. And then there's that verse which links our forgiveness and our readiness to forgive others in Ephesians chapter 32. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Epi is going to give us a song uh, which brings those two things together. God forgave my sin in Jesus' name. I've been born again in Jesus' name. And in Jesus' name I come to you to share his love as he told me to. He said, freely, freely you have received, freely, freely give. And that uh, applies particularly, I would say, to this issue of forgiveness.